Hello everybody, Noo2, thank you for watching this video. This is a guide on a Gunter build. Gunter build. Now I want to start this off by saying when we compare all the Saxony heroes to each other, Wilhelm, Wilhelm is the worst, Gunther is second, well, eh, maybe Wilhelm Gunther, you can make an argument for either of them, they're both kind of bad. Brunhilde, very nice hero, very, very nice hero, but we're going to be playing Gunter. We're going to be playing Gunter, infantry hero, but why? This is going to be a Saxony power curve build. This, this is a build where at every phase of the game, we're going to be in fighting shape. Every phase of the game, we have the ability to pressure or to defend if our opponent is being more aggressive than we are. So we're starting off with Gunther. Gunther Stormtrooper. Very clean R1. Very, very clean R1. Gives us the ability to, again, be aggressive or defensive because we're going to have an adequate amount of, num uh, of units on the field in the beginning of the stage of the game. R2 is now our mid-game. It's our mid-game. Two Grimbarts allow us to deal with, again, more infantry for opponent's infantry spamming. Uh, you're going to see in the build order that we're also going to be building extra infantry, and so if our opponent goes flat infantry spam, our R2 is going to be a really nice power spike for us to deal with that and carry us into the late game. So we got early game, mid game, and it's all about, and the build order is going to be all about spending our resources in a way that makes sense. Oil on iron upgrades, iron on our oil upgrade, and then extra iron on extra squads. And you're going to see sort of how nicely this money, for the most part, ends up uh, like lining up with each other. As we're going to be able to get all of our upgrades, skip advanced barracks, and then go workshop, advanced workshop, and we'll go right into our tier 2 max. Gunther, Gunther is a hard hero to use. He's expensive. You're going to see the build does call, I think, for one pair of medics. Just to keep him alive, he's an old man, he needs medical command. attention. Stand by. He needs medical attention, but you're going to see the very nice curve of this build. So with any build, we want to get our double iron, one oil. We are here to serve. These chain done. commands that you see are just my personal, how I play this map. Consider it done. And etc. Engineers right on time. New is, the, is the, get, get your engineers at 150 iron. The Kaiser's very, very normal, very standard. These engineers capture the, the resource node ready. closest Absolutely. to the grenade. The that way they can swiftly pick it up. The Kaiser's finest. It will be an honor. Grenades will get the job done. We'll fight for the contested iron mine. I have two squads ready. here. I mean, I personally skip the flag on this map, get the iron cache, and then this engineer that builds something. We're ready. Can uh, potentially reporting and ready to can potentially order. capture potentially capture that. But we see here that we have two squads on the right. What does the Empire require? This guy will go back, capture the flag, and then head over to the center Waiting somewhere. To use cover. We are here to Waiting to build our barracks. No one does it better. Grab the flamethrowers. Stormtrooper squad ready. That looks useful. We'll fight for the contested resource contested resource caches. Saxonians, let's get to work. Make it and etc. We need 470 iron, so we're actually going to float iron here for a little bit. Just so that we can get Gunther out and the Stormtrooper in a very nice, smooth time. Hit the timing correctly. If our opponent also has an infantry hero, that's extra beneficial working. for us. Stormtroopers ready. It's Use the AI, so his two squads disappeared. We have no idea Orders? where they went. Stormtrooper squad, consider it done. As you can what see, if you get extra resource require? cache, this really smooths out the build. Complete. But for the most part, we would still be waiting just a little bit. But we don't have enough iron to get the R, to get, to get an oil pump upgrade before the R1. So you just have to sort of float it for a little bit. Stormtrooper squad, ready. 
Of course, the description for this build will be in the YouTube video. We are ready. The Kaisers let the flame do the work for Let's us. Let's get going. But we got our engineer on time, our barracks on time, our reserve at a typical time as soon as we could. Next step is oil pump upgrade. Engineer barracks, R1 oil pump. Now our next 120 oil is going to be two iron upgrades, just right in a row. And as soon as we get 100 iron, we're building medics. Fire troops here. Right Multiple away. enemies Awaiting identified. Orders. Moving. Engaging the enemy. Stormtroopers ready. Yeah. Wait for it. Enemy the enemy is capturing our line. This is dogs. Fire. Got our 100 iron. Our medics are a little bit late, but that's not a big deal, right? Not a big deal. We just keep note of that, and we'll, we'll, we will remember for next time that there's always things that we can smooth out. The AI never retreats. We want to keep the medics with Gunther. That's the most ideal because he's an old man and he needs lots of attention. Got our big oil pumping away. Iron upgrade. We're waiting for the next 60 oil, but before we get that 60 oil, we're gonna buy a stormtrooper and just keep just keep the power level going up. Right as the game goes on, we're getting stronger. That's the point of this build. As time goes on. We're getting stronger. So now we got. Let's get the iron upgrade first. On this map in particular, the way it's going, the way it worked out, we're going to get the iron mine. When I hit our 60 oil, our next 225 was for the extra stormtrooper. Now we have all three of our upgrades. Will we be inside for long? Finding some We have all three of our upgrades. Our R1 out. Extra e extra dudes to do you know to do stuff with. Significant enemy force detected. The fight. Keep those heads you down. Cover. Orders. So now the next step is actually going to be to build an engineer. Engineers. And we're gonna be building our workshop. What does the To and the, just the way the money works out, it's it's really not too long of a wait here. Which is really, really nice. Back to our engineer. Keep those hats down. Building our workshop at 5.30ish. Between 5 and 6 minutes. Pretty acceptable. Well. And etc. Right. So for the most part, we're at 27 food. If you want to build an extra storm guard or stormtrooper, you can. You totally can. In fact, let's do that. Let's let's be safe or aggressive. Tell us what to do. See what that looks like. But potentially, that's going to delay your R1. Or I mean your R2. So you can skip it. Skip the extra extra dude, so that when this pops up. We're, we're pretty dang close. We're a little behind on oil. We're flying with the decap. Right, decapping things is still economic damage. We can scout their base with, with the wolves. Gunther's wolves, they have health, health bars. Enemy squads will automatically shoot these wolves. When they take damage, Gunther gets XP. How can I help? Our R2 is hitting. Just around seven minutes. Yes. Stormtrooper squad orders. Wasting orders. Was that all of them? We are here. Anti-mech weapons right here. Again, every engineer that we had, we went and picked the up Kaiser's weapon cache. Finest. You know, weapon systems or Release weapon caches. No in pain? Again, just e everything we do, everything we do in this build, uh, helps us grow just a little bit stronger. But now that we have our R2. We have our three standard upgrades, two iron, one oil. I suppose I need it. 
We are ready. Stormtroopers squad ready. Medics. Let's get going. Come on. Someone needs fire. What does the Kaiser require? We have a choice to make. The choice is, do we want an Isagrim? Right now. For, again, continued power spike. And that and this power spike happens, you know, getting the Isagrim happens pretty dang closely to when our Grimbards hit the field. So, you know, 19 seconds later, we can have an additional light mech. It's a, right at this 8 minute mark, we, hit, we can hit triple light mechs hitting the field. We have plenty of infantry to lock down space and do etc. with. Get the hell out of here! Ready for anything. Or we can skip the Esagrim and go right to advanced workshops. And you can see we have enough money. We're floating tons of iron, which is fine. If you're floating extra iron, you can buy more squads if you want. One thing to keep in in in, uh, in note here: we are playing the the AI. So against human opponents, you might be taking more damage to your squad. So this this iron reserve that we have is not the most realistic because we'll be taking more damage. We'll be taking more damage, getting hurt more. So floating a little bit of iron against the computer sort of makes sense. Wait, we, we split our Grimbards. I, sp I split them the wrong way. Like, I like the third on the right to be on the right side of the map. Number two to be on the left side of the map. That makes sense to me. Still floating a bunch of... If you're also ever floating a bunch of iron, upgrade an extra pump. Upgrade an extra iron mine if, if you feel the need to. Th uh, three iron upgrades, two oil pumps is, is also a, a nice uh, setup to keep your money nice and even. Now as we wait... More but for the required. most part, this money actually ends up lining up pretty closely to getting a Wotan right at the 10 minute mark here. So throughout this entire game, right, like Gunther hits right around 3 to 4 minutes. We're building extra squads, a the medic. What in the world? Storm for the Kaiser. Need armor? Mech on right, we have an R1 that hits early. Between our R1 and our R2, we're getting our upgrades and building extra infantry. So we're built, we spend our iron on an oil pump. Then we wait for oil for our two iron upgrades, and that allows us to have extra iron left over as we're waiting. And we just build, we just build squads with those things. You just build squads. Right now, at the 10-minute mark, 10:30, we got a, we got. A Grimbart, two Grimbarts, our Wotan, right? Whatever random units are on the field are from engineers. So from pretty much from start to finish, we're, we're slowly growing our army. We have a maxed out bar here. We can get our advanced barracks now. We have five extra supply. We probably want a Kaiser. Probably want a Kaiser. Grimbart, Wotan, it's it's decent DPS, right? It's important to note that this, because we are curving out throughout the entire match, um, you, you definitely want to attempt to be aggressive. You want to take a peek, you want to poke, you want to potentially try and take something from your opponent, force fights, because from start to finish, we're growing, we're getting stronger, we're getting bigger. We should always be trying to leverage our army strength against our opponent. Keeping them honest, because if they're trying to cut corners and get to their late game faster, they're going to be skipping on units. We're not doing that. We're not skipping on units. We're getting our, our upgrades at a reasonable time, but, but we are constantly trying to grow stronger and pretty much fight. So again, extra iron reserve, not a big deal, because normally we would be, we would be fighting more, forcing our opponent in the, in the worser trades. We can now wait. We can potentially get our. We'll get engineers right now, because we're gonna have seven and three. So this composition, if you skip the Isagrim, you are able to get an engineer and a Kaiser out. Ready to put our skills to use for the empire. And that's gonna max us out. We have plenty of infantry for map control to be running around, shooting and dodging and attacking. 
maxed out bar. Probably want the engineers on a hotkey so they're at the top. Because everything else is just a squad, you know. Just an infantry squad. Now, of course, this takes, you know, some micro skills. We have some extra infantry that you're going to be playing around with. Here's our Kaiser. 13 minutes. Kaiser, 13 minutes. We're maxed out if we haven't lost anything. And just, like I said before, from, sta from start of the match till now, we have been slowly growing the size of our army. We need our medics. Where are our medics? This will patch things up. Make here to see us through. That looks uh, here to start uh, with it now. Magic healing. Kaiser's on the way. Kaiser's gonna hit the field by by thirteen thirty. Yeah. So this this is you know if if you're if you get killed by infantry spam or people who are who are more aggressive than you, and you're like, man, I just don't know how to deal with it. How people are always in my you're face. This is a decent build to defend yourself with because you're constantly building units throughout the fight. So you're gonna be going, be able, you're gonna be able to go toe to toe production wise Stay at the vigilant. very least, Victory will with your opponent. If your opponent is not being aggressive, you are the aggressor. You are you are building the army. You're investing into infantry and upgrades at the same time. You have reserves that are cheap and nice and smooth to get out in conjunction with this build. We know just what they need. And eventually leading, right? We're not all in on the aggression. We're always, we're always sort of building up slowly. That's a interesting, you know, etc. Right? We're not all out on the aggression. We are, we are, you know, building our upgrades and and being honest as far as our tech goes. But this really nicely, like, very cleanly weaves everything together. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the future.